I just turned 40 years old this year and they gave me the opportunity to ride in a video to celebrate and help launch this new collaborative jersey from Puck. They sent these four bikes from four different decades to ride and film on. I haven't seen the video yet, but you can check it out by clicking up here or stick around to hear a little more about the bikes and see my first rides on them. Dating back to the 80s, this is Andy Grayson's personal trials comp bike. Andy was on the Johnny Carson and David Letterman shows riding trials in their studios and he even lost his job to be on the show. So the plan for this bike was to recreate a bit of that studio set with the barn vibe. Well I'm in an old barn on an old bike and we're going to clean this up a little bit, try to make it a bit closer to what the studio looked like for the shows that Andy did. But first I have to see which obstacles I can ride on this bike. Obviously it's pretty old, it's pretty different from a new Charles bicycle. I don't know what I can do so I'm going to test out a few of these and see what sticks. Oh! May need some reinforcements. That's the true test. Got to ride it smooth enough to not break it in half. Oh yeah. Not used to the gearing quite yet. Hey, I'm up. That was pretty sketchy. I guess now I might as well go to the big one. Oh yeah. Woo! <laughs> Whoops. There we go. <sighs> One line down. That was exciting actually. <laughs> uh, gonna take some getting used to on this thing. But next line, a little more technical. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry Andy, I don't want to hurt your bike. Just a one. Down that, I guess. Oh yeah. So this one's pretty tricky, especially since the rear brake is not very good. The front is actually pretty nice, but the rear not quite there. So this one's you gotta be pretty precise on. And I really don't wanna bash the bike up. So I'm gonna save this one for when we're actually doing the video, at least to try to get it clean then anyway. Now for another technical maneuver, 180. Whoa, first try. This bike is awesome. I never get that first try. Probably won't be able to see this one too well, but another side hop line option here. Oh, there's that rear brake again. <laughs> Might need to do something about that. Oh, it's tight in here. Oh. Hey, there we go. Well, since I forgot a drill, I think that's all I can ride for now, but at least I got a few of the lines down and I got a feel for the bike a little bit. I know I need to work on a couple of lines and also work on the brake, hopefully get that rear brake working a bit better before we shoot. But for now, let's move on to the next bike. Next up from the 90s is the Mountain Trials bike. This thing is so cool. It has a 26 inch front wheel, 24 inch rear, long stem, skinny bars with these bullhorn bar ends. It has a very little bit of front suspension. It's a bit of a hybrid that makes for an exciting ride on the trails and for trials. I think they need to make a modern version, but for now, let's see what I can do on the original. I figure, might as well start with some trials. Seems fitting. Get a little technical climbing in here. Oh yeah, this thing is like a goat. I have a creek climb planned for the video, so this looks like a good practice section. Oh, look at that. Big tires roll right through. It just crawls up the muddy hill. Whoa. So one thing that's a little bit tricky on this bike is the lever and bar setup. You can see where my fingers are at. So to get any decent braking, pretty much have to use all my fingers. Don't have much room to maneuver and the shifting is pretty goofy as well, but I'm getting used to it. I bet this thing turns around on a dime. Sure does. So I'm thinking this big front tire is going to roll over. Whoa! <laughs> that big tire and the back tire lifts right up. Time to see how it jumps. Oh! Oh! Brakes don't work so good. So when things go wrong, things get exciting. Let's try that again. How's that style? 90 is enough. I think I finally figured out what these bar ends are for. And that's brakeless wheelies. It just locks right in. 
Whoa! Until you loop it. But that's okay. Continue. A common trials move is a side hop, and this height feels like it's too high for this bike, but I'm gonna find out. Oh! I think it'll go. It's tricky because I want four fingers on the rear brake for it to work, but I can't afford to do that when I need the lift. Oh yeah! Just didn't use the brake. Well, this thing is actually pretty awesome. I'd like to ride it a little bit more before filming, but the filmers are actually already here. We've started filming on the other bikes and running out of time, so gotta get to it. Feeling ready for it though. It would be nice if the brakes worked a bit better, but I'll just deal with that and I guess that'll just add to the fun and excitement. So we'll see what happens. Just trying to lean her over. Jumping into the early 2000s, this is the original Carbon Full Suspension Mojo. It has 140 millimeters of DW Link travel with 26 inch wheels and hydraulic disc brakes. This was a killer bike for its time and probably still very capable today. Well, we just got some rain, so it's gonna be a bit muddy, but I don't have that much time before the shoot and I gotta get used to this thing. It's quite a bit different from the Mojo 4. Might as well start on the jumpy part of the trail. Oh, I don't know about jumping that one. I guess I have to though. Oh, wow. That is really weird in the air. How about the straight shot? Is that 2000 style right there? Try slow-mo on that. Let's try out the slippery rock garden. Oh yeah, so smooth. Oh yeah, there we go. Might as well try to go up it out of this mud section. Oh, no problem, sweet. So I don't know how well you can hear it in the video, but this bike is a little bit noisy since this was before the days of the derailleur clutch and having front derailleur as well. Chain's a little floppy and the forks are actually blown. No damping and it tops out real bad. So it's a cool effect every time the front wheel comes off the ground. It makes everything feel extra smooth. It's time to step it up a little bit. I have a shot in mind when we're filming to do a 360 to fakie on kind of a corner pipe that's a natural spot in a creek. So I should probably make sure I can do that on something a little more mellow first. Oh, comes right around. Oh, hey, hey, that counts, right? Oh, no. One hop, not bad. Well, it was a little hoppy, but I'll try to clean that up for the video. I gotta say though, this thing spins really nice. I feel like I'm putting in enough effort to do a 180 or a little more and it just comes right around so thumbs up to spin in the mojo i did this switch back climb on the mojo 4 but i don't think it's going to look quite the same on this bike and it's muddy that doesn't help but i'm up all right let's clean that up a bit oh no Oh yeah, beautiful. They only spun like a lot. Ooh, hey there. Yeah. Hey there, yeah. Well, this bike is actually turning out to be a lot of fun. It's so much different that at first it just felt weird, but once I accepted it for how it rode, I actually had a really good time, and I'm going to do a bit more trail riding on it before switching to the new bike, which I'm really looking forward to stepping up about 10 years or so in technology and feeling that difference. And finally, the modern day Ripmo with a throwback paint job. 29 inch wheels, dropper post, long travel, 1x12 drivetrain, slack head tube, wide handlebar, short stem, I'll bring this bike up to speed in a big way. I love my smaller Mojo 4, but it's a lot of fun to jump on the Ripmo once in a while and see how much different they really are. Might as well start where I started on the Mojo. Oh wow, so much easier on this. Try, style check, newer style whip. Ah, 
think it needs work, but this is way too small of a jump for this big of a bike. Let's see how it compares through the rocks. Oh wow, like they're not even there. I know it was wet yesterday in the Mojo, but that was way smoother on this bike. I have a tree bunk 180 planned for this bike, so I figure I'd get used to seeing how it bonks off of trees. Now I gotta bonk and pop a 180 out. Oh yeah, she's a spinner. Definitely takes a little more effort, but it comes around. Well, the Ripmo is awesome, but I'm sure you already knew that. It kind of feels like a bigger version of the Mojo 4, so I really liked it right away. I do appreciate a little bit more of that suspension on the harder hits, but overall, pretty comfortable on it already. I'm gonna ride a bit more on the trail and then should be ready to film. I had so much fun riding all these bikes, so I really want to thank IBIS for the opportunity. I feel honored to be the rider selected to help celebrate their 40th. I did my best to try to find lines out of Alpine that suited the era for each bike, while also keeping the trials influence in mind. Hopefully, I did them some justice. I love the challenge of riding different bikes, and this was a big one. From the 20-inch wheels and rim brakes of the trials bicycle, to the full suspension, 29-inch wheels, disc brakes, all the bells and whistles of the Ritmo, they couldn't be more different, and it couldn't have been more enjoyable. Besides running pedals that I'm used to on each bike and putting PNW components, bars, and grips on the Ritmo, I left the bikes completely as they came and just tried to deal with the different setups. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this look back at four decades of IBIS bicycles. Don't forget to check out the edit.